Hi guys, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday fall makeup routine. But before I get into that, I want to say a huge thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. It is so crazy to me that I'm already at a thousand. I started my channel in December of 2015, so it has not even been a year, and I never thought I would hit a thousand subscribers before then. So that's just so crazy to me, and I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos and for subscribing and sticking around. So I definitely just wanted to thank you guys, and I also just wanted to mention, I mentioned this in my last video, but I did get a new camera so I'm sorry if the lighting and autofocus and stuff is a little weird and if I'm looking at the viewfinder it's definitely hard for me not to look at the viewfinder I want to make sure everything is right but I'm still playing around with all the settings and the ISO and the white balance and things like that so bear with me while I kind of figure it out and I also just wanted to say I'm I'm really not sure how the sound is I do have an external microphone one of the Rode microphones but I couldn't get it to work every time I would film with it on it would be silent so I really have to play around with the settings on the camera and see how to get that to work but I still want to film this intro and my thank you and stuff anyway so now that all of that is out of the way back to this makeup look this is like my everyday makeup look for fall I don't wear this much makeup on a daily basis like going to school but this is what I'll throw on to like go out go shopping film a video things like that I've really been loving all the browns I've definitely been into like the brown wing lately this is the Kylie lip kit which is my first one and I've absolutely been loving so if you guys want to see how I got my everyday makeup look for fall just keep watching so starting off, I'm going in with my Smashbox primer water and spraying that all over my face. I know I've been skipping these steps, like my priming steps in my tutorials, but since this is like my everyday routine, I really wanted to walk you guys like step by step through what I'm going to do. Now I'm priming my eyes using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance as well as the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. These are still my favorites and still keep my eyeshadows on all day. To set that and to make sure my eyeshadows blend smoothly on top, I'm going in with the two lighter shades in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is so essential for me. I have to do this step every time I do my eyeshadow. And you guys can use just like the white or cream shadow in whatever palette you're using. But I really feel like there's something special about these powders. I don't know. I just really, really love how they set those primers. For my brows, I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow is in Medium Brown. Nothing's really changed. I'm just kind of showing you guys how I do my brows. I wasn't having the best brow day today, but I still still decided to leave it in and show you. I've been liking more of a defined brow lately so I'm really kind of defining the top and bottom of my brow and then just doing little hair like strokes in the middle and just combing them through with the spoolie. And then the same on the other side just kind of making my brows as even as possible but I still want them to look natural but defined. For my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced Power of Makeup Collection and taking the shade Ivy to start underneath my brow bone just to highlight and lift the brow in that area. And then going into my crease with my Morphe M433, I'm taking the shade Painkiller, which is such a beautiful, neutral, cool tone brown. And I've been loving how this has been looking in my crease. It's just super easy to blend out and it's just such a pretty shade and gives such a nice definition in my crease. Next, I'm taking Makeup and Chill, which is a gorgeous, like, neutral chocolate brown shade and really messily just running this on my outer corner. I've really been liking this whole, like, just messy browns kind of just thrown on my eye kind of look for the fall, so that is what I've been going for with this look. I'm really just focusing the Makeup and Chill on the outer corner of my eye and also bringing that up into my crease. And of course, now I'm going to be doing some blending. I'm taking my E23, which has been my favorite blending brush recently, and really just making sure all of those browns are nice and blended together. Going back into that ivy shade, it's just a beautiful creamy white. I'm going to be putting this all over my lid. I've really been liking just the whole matte eye look. I think it just looks super effortless and super gorgeous for the fall. And of course, going in and blending, especially where the white meets those brown shades. Music 
I have been loving doing my winged liner with a brown eyeliner recently. This is the Maybelline Line Stiletto in the brownish black formula. And I just think it looks so pretty with all the browns on my eyes because it's super defined but has a really nice softness to it at the same time. So I really, really have been loving the brown over the black lately. I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying some mascara. I didn't do my mascara on camera, but the mascara I chose today is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Definitely one of my favorites. And then once I was done with that, I just went in with my blending brush again and did one final blend in my crease. Moving on to my face, I'm priming my face with my all-time favorite primer. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I'm really just kind of patting this and rubbing this into my skin. It's really going to reduce the look of any texture and fill in your pores. For foundation, of course, using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, but I have discovered a new shade that I like better than my 125. I went down a shade and I'm now using 120 Classic Ivory. I just feel like the undertone is overall a little better. The 125 was just a little bit too peachy pink for me looking back so now the 120 has definitely more of that neutral yellow undertone which I prefer. For concealer I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in L9 Neutral and just putting a lot of this underneath my eyes and down the center of my face to conceal and highlight. I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder on my Real Technique setting brush underneath my eyes, on my chin, in between my eyebrows, on my forehead, anywhere where I put that concealer just to make sure that is nice and set and there's no creasing and it doesn't slide around. And then I'm also going to be packing that on the rest of my face with a big fluffy powder brush. For bronzer, I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer on my Wet n Wild Stipple Brush and just putting this on my cheeks and the sides of my forehead. And to contour, I'm going in with the Anastasia Contour Kit, taking Java and Fawn Mixed and putting this in my cheekbones and up on the sides of my temples to really sculpt out my face. I've really been loving layering different highlighters, so starting off I'm taking Lunch Money from ColourPop on my finger and putting this on my cheekbones and my nose. This is really going to act as like a base because these are almost like cream highlighters in a way. And then to top that off, I'm going in with Ofra's Rodeo Drive, which is just a beautiful rose gold and I think complements the browns on my eyes so well. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to be highlighting my inner corner with Max Nylon and then I'm going to be applying some CoverGirl Super Sizer to my lower lashes. Now I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in the shade Dolce K. I've really been enjoying this lately. I really love the color with this look. First I'm going to be lining my lips with the lip liner which is super creamy and smooth and had a really nice application. And then I'm going to be topping that off and filling in the rest of my lips with the actual liquid lipstick. The application of this was such a dream. It smelled so good and once this lipstick was like dried down and set, it did not budge and it lasted a super long time. And then to finish off the look, I just went in with some setting spray and that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my everyday fall makeup routine. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.